Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another unboxing of the Polar Lights 1/350th scale um, Star Trek Original Series. This is going to be a really cool build. Um, it's large. It's extremely highly detailed. I got some nice light kits for it and some photo etch. So we're going to definitely upgrade it in any way that's you know see fit that's possible. We're gonna have my uh, Chiller Girls light blue, you know, to pull it, you know, to tie the lineage of, you know, how things are with all these other movies since and TV shows since the actual original series. And I think Matt, uh, Gene Robinary originally wanted those to glow. It was just more of a budget thing. So um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, so let's go to the bench and take a look at it. Okay, here she is. It's a big box. Um, this is the reissue of the uh, Enterprise TOS original series. I think now they have one that comes with <clears throat> the two pilot versions where you can get the pointy parts that are on the Bassards and the different rear ends of the nacelle and stuff like that. Um, different decals for the, the other versions, but this... I'm going to do the original version. I might do a, a pilot version later on because I would think that would be neat too. But, uh, you know, one of the other things I'm going to light the, the blue parts on the, the engines. But here's the box art. If you could represent the above view of the ship. Um, <coughs> exact opposite side gives you a lower view of the ship from the underneath. That's the top. And back side gives you another good view. A little shuttle. It does come with a miniature shuttle. Miniature shuttle one included with markings for Galileo or the Columbus. So that's pretty cool. She's 32 inches long. <clears throat> Comes with a nice dome display stand. Um, accurate shuttle interior. I'm going to see if I can light that shuttle doing the old light black, but have a light shine through. I think that's a decal and a light shining through. But you did have accessory packs here. This one uh, looks like the light kit for it which I know they have a newer version, updated version of the light kit for it. And then you got the pilot parts for the first and second pilot, nacelle caps, bridge dome. Yeah, the bridge dome's different in the original pilot um, and other stuff. <clears throat> so there is a uh, kit you can get for if you have this version. But it's very nice, she is huge. And heavy. Let's pop her open. And here's your uh, paint guide, which is nice. Very well detailed, kind of like the the Katinga, the 350 Katinga paint guide. It shows you what colors are going where, and it also is your decal locator. There's your different decal numbers in the white white with round circles and then these flags with the numbers or the colors like it says number 11 here for those and that which is transparent red you got this off green going to the bridge which is turbo left green and they give you a good shade palette up here if you can see so you can try to match those colors Oh, even the bridge interior. Dark gray, a lighter gray for the carpet. There must be some decals that go down there. Very cool. Because this also gives you a uh, a bridge dome that you can see down in. And I think that's what we're going to do. Instead of just doing these white, this will do white, but 
good and that comes as a decal but yeah it gives you all the the rust ring get you they're even the same color you use for the rust ring you use for the stripes in this lower half see yeah it's the same color at least for the picture the picture is really good if you're good uh weathering looks to it you can see the gray little slight gray going on in here which they're saying either oh you could either do a decal or actually paint it on so that's different I'll have to see I'm assuming so it's a medium gray just the hair off of the actual Enterprise hull. Oh. Yeah, so I'll have to see. It looks more gray on the ship than the color. <laughs> doesn't The color and the number doesn't look really match, but it's showing up there. That's kind of weird. Does it tell you what the rings around the ship are? No. Pilot gray, number five. Really not showing you what. But even number exterior accents. Plastic color. But it's not even showing you like the that's a little weird that that's not the color so you kind of got to have to go off of your eye some of the stuff you can try to use mm -hmm. but yeah and Aaron gives you the shuttlecraft decals and that looks really good um, hangar bay stuff Very cool. But that's the uh, painter's guide. Your instructions. And here is the saucer. And look how big it is compared to the uh, JJ Prize. You got your white square lit spots, your nav and strobes. I think there's a single white one up here, maybe. Yeah. Supposed to be three round ones right up front. Man, I'm not seeing them. Maybe there's a thing that goes over that? I don't know. That's a little weird. Now I'm curious. They're going to start you off with the shuttle bay like they did with the refit. together well, they're showing the three round ones I'm not seeing them and that's my hull spun around yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> There's the three single round ones that'll be up front. This whole saucer is fun. But yeah, there's the saucer. What we got here? We got the bridge piece. Um, there's part of the deflector. Maycell ends, hangar bay doors, the ends that go in there, shuttle bay doors, water ac accent parts on there. That looks really good. 
here is the massive clear parts. Not as bad as the refit, because there's not as many windows. So it's not, it's not too bad. We've got our upper dome. There's the clear parts. The rods that go on the nacelles. We got our pylons. And some other stuff. Your, your, your neck. The back buried in there. That's really cool. Here's our base. There's our secondary hull. Nacelles, look how large these are. Wow, they're monsters. And we're going to have these grills lit. It's going to look cool. <clears throat> Our deflector dish. And your nacelle end caps and s stuff like that. And, and then the decals down the bottom. Nice. They had it a little different. Try a different way of packing it. Put you there. Try to keep stuff a little more level. So we gotta make sure there's room. I shouldn't have doubled that. <clears throat> we'll do that. I should have made some room for the saucer to go back in. That's always the hardest part is to get these guys back in. Oh, that's not too bad. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, let's get the, uh, almost forgot the painter's guide. This thing I'll probably have just... I used to like that I could put stuff right there that I need to look at, like this. Once I start building this, I'll be needing to look at it all the time. There we go. It's a tough one to get packed back in. And it gives you a lot of reference photos, even on the edges of the bottom box. That's the bottom half. There's the top half. There's side views. That's really great. <clears throat> the other side has the front and the back views. So it gives you a lot of good reference. And that's one good thing about this. This and the Katinga was really nice when it came to giving you enough references. There are other things you got to do to research and stuff for it, which sometimes is nice. Actually, do the research. But <clears throat> All right. And then. Uh, I got some extra stuff for it. I got Aztec dummies. There's, uh, there is the Aztec uh, kit you can get. The Aztec, the original series, and it looks really cool, especially if you just do off shades of that Enterprise greenish gray. I've seen someone do, <clears throat> some people do more bold, um, or some people do some color shifting. But it does look cool. Like if you took a shade, maybe a shade and a half difference in the a hull color, and did that as the Aztec, that would look cool, but I'm not going to do any aztec -ing. Maybe one time I'll order one. I think Aztec Dummy makes one, and um, maybe do a complete redo of, uh, of one and name it a different ship even. Um, but what he does have, which I like, wanted, it was uh, the window templates. So you can block your your windows out. So that always helps. You also can paint your own uh, landing gear covers. Those two triangles on the bottom. Yep, he shows you how you can paint those.
he gives you templates to move. You know, I think the older kit, the the three windows strips on the thing were on the in, like not in the right spot. But this kit has fixed that problem. You can get a template, I think, from Paragraphics, or he actually gives you the templates to move them, and you just fill in the old. See, it says ignore this section if you have a kit with a smooth saucer. I guess it was the old rough saucer. The older saucer they actually had grid lines on it. And uh, I'm glad I, I had the smooth and they were saucer which is more like what the studio kit looked like. They actually penciled in the lines not etched in. But he also gives you uh, the landing gear triangle. You can get that that shade. I'll, I'll see how that is, or I'll use the decal. Oh, he gives you the paint masks for underneath what I was talking about. If you wanted to do a painted version or or a, uh, a decal, <clears throat> he gives you the inner nacelle dome uh, light blocking, which that might come in handy. But the main thing is, uh, looks like the yellow. I've switched to yellow vinyl since I've been built. Since I built this kit, but it still shows old black. Yeah, okay. It's saying these are in the yellow. Let's see, others black. Or? Oh yeah, the old school is in black. <laughs> Uh, all the windows and striping there's the templates and you know, neck window blocking and saucer rim but it's all right here I guess you can even do those leaves it up oh, there's the masking for the back half that's great Because what you can do is do the colors and then use these masks and then uh, do the hull color. That's probably how that would work. And then these are, you know, to add to the nacelles. And then these are the four for the. I think there's two on the ship, but it gives you four. Which works out good. You can do two as inner and two as the outer. But that's great. So this was only a. I can't remember, maybe 10 bucks or something like that, maybe 15 ish. But so it was well worth getting it to have. That way it makes the painting much easier to do it all one shot once it's together. You know, Uber up your clear parts. So I went and got that from Aztec Dummy. Um, then I got some uh, paragraphic uh, photo etch parts here. Um, we got the engine grills here, which gives me those engine grills. It also gives me impulse. Let's see if we can pull this out. It gives me the grills to go on the pylons, which is nice. Um, and then these are the cell grills, which then we can light blue. These are the templates, these here, um, but we don't need those anymore because it's a little symbol and they give you these rear end uh, engine parts. Gives you a couple symbols. I'm not sure which what these different things mean. That would be interesting. I didn't even notice that.
So I guess one's for the bigger drill and one's for the smaller, but this one helps you locate it. I don't know if there's a smaller or bigger versions. Oh, use use photo etch full part four to align pilot holes and drill. Use etch five to align. Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyhow, I don't need to do those. I think they're fixed on the version I have. Yep, and then you have these for the warp engines for the second pilot. You can actually cut that cap out and put these actually in. Looks like that's what they want you to do. I'm not sure what these different Starfleet symbols do, but I can have them put on the base. But there you have it. There's the engine grill parts. So, at least get this in there because it keeps it nicer. I'll put the instructions in after we're done shooting. And then here's just the supplement photo etch which gives you some shuttle bay stuff and uh, bridge stuff. I think those are the railings for the bridge. Here's the computer consoles for all the bridge work. This might even... I'm trying to think of what all this is. So it all might be mainly the bridge. It's been so long. I ordered this a long time ago. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of that's for the bridge. So you can backlight all that. And, oh, yeah, and it comes with the decals. You got the little people things so you can have them in the window. And then you have you know little decals for monitors. And you can get better ones than these. Which I might see if I can. I think JT graphics makes us a better set. I mean those would work fine. And I think if you use a yellow color, it gives you more of a better engine color. Oh, and those, those stripes are for the engines, which is probably what I'm going to use instead of the masks from Aztec Dummy, because I'd like to see that, be able to see that kind of brassy piece wrapping around there. We'll see how well they wrap around. <laughs> and they'll have to get super glued. But, uh... Yeah, so I think all that's computer screen stuff. And of course, all that. Oh, and then we have stuff to make the hangar bay look better. And that's what I thought. What is this? A grid for lighting? Yeah. This goes up on top of there. Is there that many of them? One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Very cool. And then you got the back panels for there, garage door, cracked air, which is more accurate. You got all these little windows, which will be more accurate. You can probably cut out and light through. That's probably what they're asking you to do. Um, oh boy. All that for there. Oh, and then this gives you the template for the back here. I never noticed that. It 
still not even seen that on the sheet unless it's way up top. Probably where it is. Well, the piece I'm always looking for is always. No, I'm still not seeing that piece. Oh, there it is. So you can notch that out and then fold that around and putty it, and that'll give you your lights back there. That's even nicer than. Aztec dummy is you're, you're gonna actually just paint on, but this actually gives you the the lighting for all that. That's great. It shows you where to remove that. So that's those. So that's gonna enhance everything on the uh, original. And then here's my lighting kit from Gary Hughes was in the little box I put in this. It's got a lot going on. Got a flashboard here. There's a multicolor ribbon here. We got another flashboard for our different strobing. Um, these are probably white LEDs. We got a uh, like that. He actually sent you some SM in it, already pre-resistored. SMD LEDs. That's awesome. These are the different color lights for the spinners. Uh, Sard collectors. Here's the board for the Sard collectors. And of course, these will be the wires. Um, that feed those. There's some more white stripping. A bunch of wire. Um, some J connections connectors these are great but yeah I got to be careful you gotta make sure since this is going to be buried that they are tight but they do make I used them in annex one and it seemed to work fine uh, those I think you drill to give your lights it gives you extra styrene if you need to bridge lights across. There's a pattern, a battery testing jack, and all that stuff. So that's great. And I love that you got to build your own boards. It saves you money and it like, you know, also gives you a, an ability to feel like you're, you know, more part of the build than just plugging and playing all the different little lights and resistors and all that stuff and we'll probably add more to it so we'll see but there we go that's the original series enterprise so like I said um, we'll be doing a series on this sometime in the future not sure what my building order is I'm building all the enterprises and I was trying to go in like some sequential line like I got the NX1 done but I already have the refit done so now I gotta hit the original series um, the JJ prize I can throw in anywhere but I was hoping to do the original series and then I already had the refit then do the A but I want to put a bigger distance between the A and the refit um, then I'll probably hit the B and then the D's and but I might bounce all over the place I'm not sure but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will watch the series when we start posting it, making it, and building this ship. It's going to be a good one. I like that the paint is pretty basic. It's just getting it right. But hopefully you'll watch the series. Until then, thanks for watching.